What's up guys, The Human Carjack here, and today I wanted to start off this video by thanking all you guys, all my subscribers, for 1,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me, and I wanted to do a bit of a giveaway just to give back to you guys. So I'm going to be giving away a $100 Subi Speed gift card to one lucky subscriber. Now as some of you may know, next week I'm going to be going for my Pro Tune, and I'm going to be adding on a couple different parts to the car, uh, along with a TGV Delete and EGR Delete, and some other goodies. Now for the contest, what you have to do is, one, you need to be subscribed to the channel, Two, you need to follow me on Instagram. And three, I need you to comment down below in this video letting me know what you think the horsepower figure is going to be from the Pro Tune, along with your Instagram name so I know that you're both subscribed to the channel and that you follow me on Instagram. And that's about it. I'm going to be announcing the winner on August 11th, so this is going to be running for just about a month. So if you want to join, you can join. Now as for today's video, we're going to be installing a couple new things. I got a couple minor accessories for the car. So one being rain guards and also I think the brand is GCS uh, paddle shifters. So we've got the paddle shifters here. We got it in black from Subi Speed. We also got some silver touch up paint to kind of touch up a lot of the, uh, the little scratches and things like that that I have on the car and the rain guards right over here. So I don't know if I'll actually get to the rain guards today. I'm going to try to but let's go ahead and install the paddle shifters. Now from what I've seen in some installation videos, this kit along with the Subi Speed uh, paddle shifter kit too, is kind of annoying to install because it gives this little Allen key wrench and it's really hard to get behind uh, some of the, uh, the things like the, uh, the shifters and all that, the stocks. So we're gonna see how long it's gonna take me to do this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna show you guys the finished product and we'll go from there. I'll let you know how long it took. So this is what the wheel looks like before and after so they're looking pretty good i tightened up the screws pretty tight so if you guys don't know so there's a couple of screws there's four of them that go onto the sides over here so that's one of them right there i don't know if you can see hold on yeah that one right over there right and then a couple more on the side so one two two on each side and then two on the inner part I know you can see it right over there. So what you do is they, they supplied you with that Allen key that I showed you guys before. So all I did was I took uh, one of these things, one of these tools, and I just cut it in half. So it provided a lot more clearance and it made the job a lot easier. So do yourself a favor, pick yourself up one of these tools, cut the Allen wrench in half and it'll save you a lot of time and frustration. Oh yeah, so all in all that took about 10 minutes. So not bad for a nice little cosmetic mod. So as for the rain guards, I think I'm actually going to have my tuner install them next week when I go for the Pro Tune and then they install all the other parts. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to check the description for the link to my Instagram. Go ahead and follow me there if you want to enter the contest. Please subscribe to the channel also if you want to join the contest and leave your horse figure number down below. Now just to give you an idea, I think the car stock makes around 220 wheel horsepower. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Not the crank horsepower, the wheel horsepower. Guys, thank you so much for watching be sure to hit that like button down below uh, subscribe comment do whatever you want make sure to stay tuned for the next video when I do the pro tune and I wish you guys the best of luck all right take care now peace